Uh, hello, my name is Abdullah Abdul Mumin, and I'm here to perform an eye examination for you. Can I have your name, please? My name is Saleh. Right, Mr. Saleh, how old are you? 21 years old. Uh, do you have any pain, Mr. Saleh? Uh, no. Okay, may I begin the examination, please? Please. Right, can you take off your glasses? First of all, you turn on the ophthalmoscope. You need to assess the red reflex. To assess the red reflex, you position yourself one meter away from the patient. You can use your hand as a guide, like this. Tell the patient to look directly into the light. Can you please look into the light? And assess the red reflex for both eyes. The power should be symmetrical in both eyes. Next, you need to use the ophthalmoscope to uh, look for the blood vessels, uh, optic disc, and macula inside the retina. To do that, you turn on the ophthalmoscope, take a temporal approach, put your hands over his forehead like this, tell the patient to focus his gaze on a spot on the wall, and never move his gaze from that. And then, you can use the red reflex to guide you, you into the retina. Once inside, you will find blood vessels. And once you do, you, you can follow them back into the optic disc, since they converge there, or you can follow the V-shape that they create. Once you find the optic disc, you can look temporarily to find the macula, or you can ask the patient to look directly into the light. Can you please look into the light to assess the macula and fovea better? Of course, next, you need to compare with the other eye. The right eye with the right hand and the left eye with the left hand. Next is the visual aperture examination. Uh, first, you have to ensure good lighting. Then, ask the patient to position himself six meters away from the Snell, Snell and charts. Uh, then, ask the patient to put on his glasses. Can you please put on your glasses? Then, ask him to cover one of his eyes. Can you cover one of your eyes, please? Then, ask him to tell him what direction uh, the letters are. What direction is this? Left. What direction is this? Up. What direction is this? Up. What direction is this? Right. What direction is this? Right. What direction is this? Up. What direction is this? Up. Alright. Next, you have to alternate the eyes. Tell him to uh, close the other eye and open it and, uh, and ask him the same thing. And if he if he's, uh, couldn't uh, see the first letter, then you have to bring the uh, snail chart closer to him until he can see it. If he still can't see it, if he still can't see the, uh, the, the first letter, to ask him to count your fingers in front of his eyes. Can you count this? Four. Yeah. And if he can't, uh, use hand movement. Can you see this? And if he can't, use light perception to see if he can see light. Next is the visual field uh, assessment by confrontation. First, you, ask, uh, you have to ensure uh, optimal seating position. The, your eye level must be the same. This is between you and the patient must be at least one to two meters. You can use your knees like this as a guide for a good seating position. Uh, second, ask the patient to take off his glasses because the rims of the glasses uh, might obscure the visual field. All right, to begin the examination, you have to first assess a gross visual defects. Ask the patient to focus uh, on my nose and ask him if any part of my face is missing. Is any part of my face missing? No. Alternatively, you can hold up two of your hands. Are two, uh, do you see two of my hands? Yes. Do they appear normal? Yes. All right, next, is visual field assessment by quadrants and you have to ask the patient to count your fingers. Uh, ask the patient to uh, close one of his eyes. Can you please close your left eye? Now close my right eye. Ask the patient to focus his gaze on, on my open eye and you do the same. Uh, keep your hand in between your visual field. Then start uh, uh, by one of the four quadrants and ask him to count the finger. How much is this? Two. How much is this? One. How much is this? Two. How much is this? One. All right. Next, your, the other eye. Can you please close the other eye? How much is this? Two. How much is this? One. All right. How much is this? Two. How much is this? One. Okay. Next is a uh, further visual field assessment to elicit several uh, several uh, defects. Uh, you can do this either with a red pin or a wiggling finger. Uh, you start uh, from the periphery and move on centrally in, uh, and ask the patient when he can see the wiggling finger and, and still continue centrally. Uh, and do, uh, the same steps as before, can you pl please close uh, one of your eyes? Alright, and you close the opposite. You start from the uh, periphery and ask him when he begins to see the finger. Uh, tell me when you begin to see the finger. No. Alright. No. Okay. No. 
No. Alright. Then do that eye. Can you please close the other eye? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. No. Alright. Next is the blind spot test. The blind spot is tested by using the red pen. So this is the red pen. Ask the patient uh, to close one of his eyes. Can you please close your right eye? And you close the other. Uh, you, you keep the retina in between your vision and ask the patient to focus your, uh, his gaze on your eye and you do the same. And just move the retina temporarily until uh, the patient sees, uh, sees it disappear. Tell me when you, when you see it disappear, okay? No. Alright. And then uh, and co compare the blast spot to your own and move it up and down to see when it comes back. You see it now? Yes. No? Uh, be... No? No. Alright. Okay, and then do the other eye, and please close the other eye, and do the same. Disappear. 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 Okay. Thanks. Uh, this is the end of the examination. Uh, thank you. You've been a great patient. You can put on your glasses back. Uh, this is the ophthalmoscope. To turn on the ophthalmoscope, uh, you press the green button right here, and then you turn the uh, knob counterclockwise, and it's turned on. These uh, are to focus the lens, change the lens focus. You see as this, this plus one, plus two, plus three. This is zero, minus one, minus two, and minus three. You need to keep it at zero for the sake of the examination.